Nothing in this recording is intended as investment advice, and the people in this recording may hold positions in the companies they talk about. Do not make any investment based solely on a tip or recommendation. Please do your own research. Hello and welcome to Zach's Traders Cafe. Today I'm joined by Bernard Aylward, who's CEO of Condal Minerals. How are you today, Bernard? Great, thanks, Zach. Well, we haven't spoken for a while, but you've made great progress. And yesterday you announced a drilling update. Yeah, it has been a while. And I think uh, last time we spoke, we just had announced our transaction with Pineland Mining and the joint venture for the development of Baguni. And what we announced yesterday was, was really a function of that funding that we've received. So we're busy building the mine, the DMS plant at the Anguilana prospect, but at the same time, we're continuing to drill and expand the resource base of, of our project. And I think you remember in the past, we've spoken of the opportunity that Baguni has to continue to expand. And we're very pleased to be able to present that with the drilling results yesterday. And, and some of those are the thickest and highest grade intersections we've had at the project. Oh, so you received um, cash to develop the project, but actually the project, you don't actually yet know how big the project could be. Is that, is that a fair thing to say? Yeah, that's a fair thing to say. I think we've spoken in the past about our strategy was really to move into a development phase as quickly as possible. So we did uh, drilled enough to prove a feasibility study, to get our mining license, to get our environmental permits, we were able to attract a partner like Hainan who came in with a substantial sum of money. So the 65 million that we estimated for the DMS plant was more than covered with the $100 million investment into the project from Hainan Mining. And we're using that additional money to continue to, to grow the project. We've outlined a development strategy which begins with the stage one DMS development at Anguilana. And over the next couple of years, looking to start the construction of a stage two flotation plant, which we expect to be able to fully develop the Baguni project. But what's your priority? Is it proving up more resource or is it actually getting into production or is it a mixture of both? Well, it's actually a mixture of both. Zach. Right now we are constructing the DMS plant. Um, we've got two cargo ships traveling to site. They've picked up our equipment in China, the DMS plant, the crushing circuit, the steel works, as well as next shipment containing consumables and additional equipment. That's on its way to site now. On site, we're constructing with the footings and foundations for the plant, as well as offices, clearing the site for the open pit. But in addition, we're obviously continuing to drill and that's looking to allow us to optimize the future flotation plant. But importantly, what we're seeing at the Bumu prospect is additional coarse grain mineralization that's possibly amenable to treatment in the DMS plant. So that gives us longer life of the DMS. And as we build the resource base, longer life of the stage two flotation as well. And in terms of where you are, and because obviously these you know these things have many stages, uh, where you are in the middle of 2024. If uh, we'd spoken this time last year, and, and I described to you where you where you would be in 12 months' time, would you be happy with where the codal is at now? Look, we're very happy, really, Zach. We've got a fully funded development project. We've got funding to continue our our drilling and expansion of the project. We're still on schedule for production before the end of this calendar year. So prior to December 2024, we expect to have concentrate being shipped out of the Anguilana DMS plant. So right now, we're in a very happy position. We're looking forward to the next few months as development really picks up pace. And on top of that, our team's very happy. We're growing. We've got a, a good team on site. We've maintained a lot of our people who've had long connection to the project, as well as picking up a whole lot of new people who are very excited to be involved in this development. And just to finish off, could you be described as a, as a bit of a hair, the hair um, and the tortoise situation where uh, lots of other companies uh, have said that we're going to be in production 
you know, yesterday and they've still they've been stalling and you're actually, you know, you've got a window of less than six months. Look, we've we've always taken that view, Zach, that it's really uh, a long term proposition mining. We've spent a lot of time developing our resource. We have a good team in place. We know when we started, we always had the view that it was a very mineable project and we're starting to prove that up. Um, in some ways, we like to think we've been quick, but we know what we're doing. We've got a very good team behind us and we're looking forward to uh, moving through stage one and, and looking to build into stage two. It's a, it's a, great, it's a great place for us to be. Bernard Elwood, CEO of Codal Minerals. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Zach. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.